What's up everyone? Welcome to another Hero Revamp Spotlight, this time featuring Minsithar, the courageous warrior! Not only has Minsithar been given a new look, but he's also been made into a much more versatile hero. With powerful engagement tools and a direct counter against high mobility heroes, the fearless Minsithar is a truly formidable presence on the battlefield. Hero Skills We revamped Minsithar's first skill and ultimate, and completely redesigned his second skill and passive, First Skill Spear of Glory Minsithar thrusts forward with the Spear of Glory and stuns enemies at the tip of the attack. Minsithar then pulls back his spear after a brief delay, damaging enemies along the way. Prior to the revamp, Spear of Glory only pulled the first enemy hero hit on its way back. The revamp version now pulls all enemy heroes the spear hits on its way back to Minsithar. Second Skill Shield Assault the new Shield Assault provides Minsithar with enhanced damage and damage reduction. Shield Assault deals damage to enemies in an area and slows them. It no longer shields Minsithar or stuns an enemy, but will instead put Minsithar in the Phalanx state, reducing damage taken from the front and enhancing his basic attacks into rapid strikes that deal AoE damage. Ultimate King's Calling Minsithar leaps a short distance and calls four royal guards to form a field around him. The royal guards cannot move, but will attack enemies in the field, and their attacks can trigger equipment effects. Enemies within the field will also be slowed. Before the revamp, the field only prevented enemy heroes from using directional blink skills. The new King's Calling now disables all movement skills. Passive Skill Mark of the King The redesign of Minsithar's passive shifts its function from support to individual playmaking. The new passive causes his basic attacks and skills to apply a stack of Mark of the King. At max stacks, the marks will detonate to damage and stun the target, and restore a portion of Minsithar's HP. This effect can only trigger once every so often on the same target. The revamp Minsithar not only retained his powerful utility, such as shutting down high mobility heroes, but also received a considerable boost in damage with the new Shield Assault. Pro Tips since Spear of Glory stuns enemies hit by the tip, aim the end of the skill indicator at the target to more easily pull them in. Anticipate when the enemy burst is coming, and use Shield Assault to minimize damage taken. Shield Assault's enhanced basic attacks benefit from attack speed, so Minzathar with a damage build can have incredible bursts in the late game. Target key heroes with King's Calling to cripple their mobility in battle. Combo Tips when laning, use Spear of Glory to pull enemy heroes in, then Shield Assault to slow and cut them down with rapid strikes. In teamfights, try to pull as many enemy heroes as possible with Spear of Glory, then use King's Calling to restrict their movement and finish with Shield Assault for huge damage. Tactics Minzathar should focus on farming in the early to mid game. Use Shield Assault to reduce incoming damage or to quickly clear out minion waves. In the late game, Minzathar's crowd control really shines in teamfights. Use King's Calling to strip away the enemy's mobility and Shield Assault for a great burst of damage. We recommend this build, with Demon Hunter Sword and Corrosion Scythe as Minzathar's core equipment. Demon Hunter Sword provides much needed lifesteal and attack speed while Corrosion Scythe adds even more attack speed to really push Shield Assault's damage. Pick the Fighter Emblem to boost Minsithar's damage output. For battle spells, Flicker can be a powerful tool in the mid to late game when used with King's Calling to quickly reach and shut down key targets. Petrify is also recommended as an additional CC to maximize Minsithar's damage during Shield Assault. We hope players will have fun with the revamp Minsithar. Until next time, we'll be seeing you in the land of dawn.